According to the port's president, once this expansion is completed, it can have an indirect effect on over a million jobs in the region. The Georgia Ports Authority has already started a series of expansion plans in hope to keep up with the upcoming growth. 12 years and an estimated $4.5 billion expansion plan. Georgia ports are determined to keep up with the demand. Many ports around the U.S. right now are facing congestion with limited growth. We want to make sure we don't have that problem. According to the port's president, Griff Lynch, they're expecting to add an additional 20,000 containers for Hyundai and supporting suppliers. We're working closely with not only Hyundai, but all of their tier one suppliers that are investing in Savannah and beyond. And we want to help support them as they bring their cargo through here. The first phase of this plan has just been completed. The restructuring of container berth one in the Garden City Terminal. They're adding the last step, which is four additional cranes, creating room to serve up to seven more vessels. Up next is the ocean terminal that we can see from River Street. This change will be very similar to the expansion done in the Garden City Terminal, creating a total of 1.5 million 20-foot containers, bringing a total of 7.5 million 20-foot units, known as TEUs, for the ports yearly. So we want to make sure that we don't grow too much and we, and we keep pace with the growth that's coming. Lynch says that we could see a shift in international shipping as well, as suppliers move away from Chinese exports and more towards Southeast Asia and Indonesia, which is changing their route to more East Coast ports. It's going to bode very well for the Georgia ports and the entire East Coast, number one. So that's one, one of the reasons we're investing like we are. The ports look for a future where they can bring almost double of what they are now, which may not be too far away. According to the port that they have already started work on the ocean terminal that they hope to have done by 2026. Live in Savannah, Lindsay Stanger, WTOC News.